Hello everyone, as you can hear, I'm at a LAN party, however, people keep harassing me for a video, so I will show you very briefly a few things that we've done. First one are the conveyor belts. So there are two types of conveyor belts, fast and slow, uh, which I, which are custom block types again. I have created a red one for the slow and a sort of a brown one for the fast. So I turn the jetpack off, and if I jump on the conveyor belt, it pushes you along. So you should be able to do guided tours of the world, so you can show people what's going on or take them to see the cool, cool stuff as well as the commit so I'm not I'm not moving there that's completely automatic as well as that there's also jump pads which are these fried egg things I've made um, so if you hit a jump pad point so you're now able to guide tour people around your world and take that six and another one here goes through hits the trampoline goes up the trampoline what's there around like that so you can do these uh, little things um, you've probably also heard about the physics blocks so I will show you how to have a physics block uh, physics blocks are affected by the conveyors now I know what you're all saying oh my god I need the keyboard again so to uh, save off your complaints let's get that back out it's cool I've got, a, I've got like a rocking soundtrack in the background here it's cool <laughs> uh, so if we go over to here so we've got the new the new laser. So if you create something called a beam emitter, yes, you need the keyboard, you can now create laser beams, which fire out like so. Now, if you create a laser beam and fire it into something called factory, like here, the factory will spawn objects. Objects are affected, little doodads, a bit like, a bit like Warcraft. Uh, apparently it's again craft in the name, so I must have ripped it off. So, as you can see, they're hitting the jump pad and they're flying through the air like this. And down there. So there's another one here. I've got another factory, which I've represented with a custom block, which is a bit like a golden cross. So you can see here, it's uh, shooting along the conveyor belt, hitting the jump pad in the air, bouncing up there. Ooh, look at the physics. Down there, across there. You can see it bounces around, flies through the world. So you can have all these custom objects doing so all of these uh, objects doing the things. Now, because obviously you have much better ideas than me about what you want in the world, if, this is the bit that I'm going to have to answer a million times in emails, if you stick a custom object on top of a factory, that's the cus that's what the factory spawns. See there, it's spawning the thing. And you can even put the factory on top of the factory, so you don't need to have loads of different custom blocks. So now it's going to spawn things that look like the factory. And, um, yeah, you should be able to go to town with this. It's quite fast to render. It's not really much done in the custom blocks themselves. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I won't show you the encouraging stuff. It's not really ready. I know Mac's very keen. And because Sai is currently gallivanting in Mexico, I think, or something, you won't get to uh, put up with his bad jokes this week. Anyone's got a bad joke? Guy goes into a bar. And he asks for ten times what everybody else is drinking. And the bomber goes, that's an order of magnitude. See you next week.